So I made that word up. But here's the thing. If I say I love vectors for their infinite scalability and the fact that you can create shapes and recolor and resize them quickly, but sometimes they're a little too vectory, you know what I mean, right? Don't get me wrong, flat vectors have an important place in many of my designs. And I love that I can create a fun flower and designer in less time than it takes to say Sasquatch. But sometimes, especially when I'm working on illustrations, I want something more organic, something textural. Basically, I want to be able to use all of my favorite tools in designer to draw with my favorite textures. Is that so much to ask? What if I told you it's not? Welcome to class. Hey everyone, I'm Tracy, an illustrator, surface pattern designer, and unabashed digital art nerd. There's a misconception that vectors and textures don't play well together, and that it's difficult to incorporate textures using designer. And even when you do, illustrations with vectors are still going to look flat and stiff. In this class, I'm going to dispel those myths and show you how to create beautiful, organic, textured vector florals with ease. While I have many tools in my creative toolbox, designer has been my go-to for several years. Over that time, I've taken a deep dive into it, not just to learn the basics of how the tools work, but how to make those tools work for me more efficiently and effectively. I share all of that knowledge here in my classes, and this one's no exception. This class is jam-packed with information, but I've broken it down into three sections with bite-sized lessons in each one, so you can navigate through the class, step away when you need to, and easily refer back to lessons on key tools in the future. We're going to start by taking a look at what I call the creative helpers. Those are the tools that are going to help you efficiently create and organize your shapes. So things like the Boolean operations, the appearance panel, and style picker, just to name a few. From there, we'll take those tools and create our florals. I'm going to show you two of my go-to ways to quickly create the flat base for your floral shapes so you can build your own vast library of assets for your illustrations, surface patterns, and graphic design projects. We'll begin by creating florals using designer's built-in shapes and their baked-in control handles. Now, they're going to give us some pretty symmetrical shapes, but later in the class, I'm going to show you how to add warp and texture to them to give them a more organic feel. Before we do that, I'll show you my favorite way to make organic floral shapes using a single stroke and pressure settings. Now, this is something I covered in my very first class where I showed you how to use pressure settings to create leaf shapes. In this one, we're going to take an even closer look and I'll show you the basics of pressure settings so they're easier to use, as well as how to avoid or correct issues and go beyond leaves to create flower and vase shapes as well. From there, we're going to head into the third part of class where we'll take our flat shapes and add depth and dimension with gradients, warp, and of course, texture. I'm going to show you multiple ways to easily add texture to your vectors, including drawing with your favorite textures with the pen and pencil tools. Speaking of texture, when you take this class, you'll receive a set of 70 of my handmade gel plate textures, which can add beautiful pops of color and depth to all of your shapes. You'll also receive a color palette that I've created that's packed with tons of hand-picked colors, perfect for bringing flowers and leaves to life. And finally, you'll receive a fun vector stamen brush that I created just for this class and use throughout. Now, this class is taught in version two of the desktop app. But for those of you who are on the iPad, don't worry, I've got you covered because just about everything I show you in this class works the same on both the desktop and iPad. But for those few places where it doesn't, I'll pop into the iPad and show you the differences. Whether you're using the desktop or iPad versions, this class is intended for intermediate users of the app because even though it's beginner friendly, you will need some experience with the app in order to follow along. When you're done with class, you'll not only have the tools you need to create beautiful textured florals and designer, you'll have the knowledge needed to add an organic textured feel to any vector shapes that you want to create in the future. So are you ready to build your floral library and up your texture game and designer? I'll see you in class. <laughs> 